What is up everyone, Xander here and today I do not have a mod to kick review. So today I'm going to be talking about an app called Casper and what it essentially is is an alternative Snapchat client as the video title implies. Um, basically, uh, it, it's a, it's a, basically um, Casper allows you to out. So basically Casper allows you to do a lot of things that you couldn't do on regular Snapchat. Um, and I'll go through the set the features right now. Um, you can save snaps, uh, like without the sender actually knowing that you saved the snap. You can forward snaps, um, so you can take somebody's snap and just send it to somebody else. Um, you can add, there's filters. I mean, Snapchat has filters, but I'm pretty sure this has like uh, different filters from the ones that Snapchat has. Uh, there's slide filters. There's stickers. Uh, there's and there's more stuff, yeah. I'm not gonna go through every single thing that this app has to offer, but I'll be going through a lot of the cool ones that I generally use or things that I would think. This is not the website you go to to download the app, by the way. If you wanna go to download the app, it'll tell you down here that you have to download it from APK Mirror. So you go download. And if you look up Casper on Google, then the APK Mirror will be like the first, um, the first link. Um, but I'm going to put a link in the description, obviously. Um, but yeah. Basically, you download the... Yeah, the top one. Down the top one, which is the newest one. You're good to go. So, so once you're in the app, you're going to be greeted with this screen. Um, so there's like... There's three ways you can log into Casper. Um, you're still going to want to have regular Snapchat installed. You don't want to use this as your main app. Um, and I'll tell you why later, but first, alright, so the first way you can log in is by, you know, your regular username and password. I do not recommend logging in this way, um, because it's a lot easier for the Snapchat devs to catch you using an alternate client. Um, I'm not saying it's 100% guaranteed, but it, there's a chance that you'll get caught. Um, you'll first get a warning, and if you continue to use Casper, your account will be temporarily banned. And then, you know, I'm pretty sure the third strike, you'll, your account will be permanently banned. I never got to that point, um, but I'm assuming that's how it works. Um, second option is Snapchat authentication token. Um, now, for the longest time, I couldn't figure out how to find my authentication token, but I did figure out a way, and I'll get to that in a second. Now, the third way, which is the safest way, is if you have a rooted device, you can snap, you can log into Snapchat using the root method. This is the safest way to get in. Um, you're almost guaranteed to not get caught. I haven't gotten caught yet. Um, so, if your device is rooted, then this is the best way to log in using the root method. So, just tap on that. It'll first ask you if you want to grant it root permission, and then you say yes. And what? All right. So it turns out with the root method, you're definitely gonna have to have Snapchat installed. And then you're gonna to wanna to be signed into Snapchat before using it. So I'm gonna put in my password. Now, the regular Snapchat app does detect if your device is rooted. So if you're using Super SU as your, you know, root thingy app thing, you might wanna get SU hide. I don't really know much about it, but there's basically it allows you to hide your root from specific apps so that um, they can't detect that your device is rooted. And if you're on Magisk, basically just use Magisk Hide so that you can, you know, prevent the app from detecting your root, which is basically what I did. Um, or if you're lucky, you don't need either of those and you can still log into Snapchat anyway. Um, another way you can log into Snapchat if you're not already logged in and you're rooted is if you haven't already, well, you would have to back up Snapchat, like Snapchat, yeah, you'd have to back up Snapchat um, at a point in time when you aren't when you weren't rooted and then restore snapchat through um, titanium backup and that way you'll be logged leave it logged in automatically once you open the app but anyway I'm rambling so I'm gonna log in with snapchat the root session and there you go you're in alright so something I failed to mention uh, during the recording of this video um, was how to get the auth authentication token which I said I would get well, I'll show you how to get, but I, for I completely forgot to do that. Um, and I know my webcam isn't up at this point of the video. This is literally just a last minute thing that I forgot to show. So, if you want to log in and you're not rooted, 
what you're going to do is log in with your username and password and immediately after you log in you click on the three dots and then go to session authentication token just copy that log out put in your authentication token at the bottom and then you'll log in through the authentication token rather than your login also make sure you have that authentication token saved somewhere in case you for some reason log out of Casper. I'm going to show you guys that you can um, save a picture without the sender knowing that you saved the picture. So I'm going to just, I don't fucking know, picture, picture. So if you tap on the screen, there's going to be a download button up here. Um, basically, you just tap on that and the picture will be downloaded right away. Um, and also when you open a picture in this client, they the, it won't count as it being viewed so like the sender won't know that you viewed the picture either unless you tap on this eye icon right here which automatically makes it viewed so yeah other features a lot of the other features that are on this app aren't features that I actually use myself so I'm just gonna be looking through these features and see I mean if you find any of these useful you can use them yourself um, so if you go to settings so there's uh, an option to auto mark a snap as viewed when you open it so it's like it's sort of like regular snapchat where once you view it it counts as viewed um auto saving basically self-explanatory automatically saves the snap once it's opened or something like that um you can choose your camera so you can use the casper camera or your your phone's camera to send a snap uh you can auto downloads i'm not exactly sure what the difference is between saving and downloading Oh, whatever. Um, if you're on BlueStacks, then you can use BlueStacks mode, I guess. Or if you're on BlackBerry, you can use BlackBerry mode. Yeah, if you're on BlackBerry, you can get this also, and you can use BlackBerry mode. There's an option to clear conversations, remember your Snapchat password, uh, location updates, circle story icon, snap story time. So like, it shows. So like, it shows you the time that the, the sender originally set at the top of the screen. If you're interested in that, hide live events, hide viewers who have are, enable notifications, and if you want to get beta updates, so if you want to get like updates early, then you can uh, set it so you can get beta updates and stuff like that. So yeah, there's that. Uh, so let's check out the camera. It's gonna take a random picture. So yeah, these are all your options. There's text, obviously. I I don't know what this is. I think these are layers. I'm not sure. Just rotate the text. Because you can change the color of the text and the background. Uh, what else? Paint, obviously. Rotate the picture. So then there's also emojis, which are basically stickers and stuff. Nothing too fancy. Um, there's also Android emojis. Apple emojis. Twitter emojis. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, what else? You can flip. Vertically and horizontally. What is this? Set location or something? Yeah, you can set your location. I don't know what this is. Oh, these are these are filters. So there's not a whole lot of filters here. Whatever. And then you can download your snap. Um, so that's it in terms of customization. You can also add another account if you wanted to. That's only if you purchase the add-on. So they have micro transactions in this app. So like you can remove apps, get add-ons, stuff like that. There's not stuff you actually need, but there's stuff that would you know be kind of cool to have like the ad account thing and stuff so yeah um, I'm pretty sure that's it in terms of Casper pretty much a lot of the stuff I didn't really need to cover you guys could have figured it out on your own but whatever um, if you made it this far into the video what I want you to do is type in I mean comment the word client in the comment section that'll let me know if you actually made it this far into the video and stuff like that um, but anyway I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you guys want to download and yeah Hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.